rent is paid, everything is glorious and amazing. To then suddenly see my life go completely the other way. You see, manifestation is the unfoldment of what God is projecting in front of you. You focus on what you got right now. Why isn't that we live in this desired reality? How is it that others do? Every single letter, every single word, every single sound, they all vibrations. Now which vibration, which aspect of the entirety of the ocean, which aspect of the entirety of who you truly are do you choose? So do you choose the lack or not? Many people in the beginning stages of their manifestation, when they are learning how to manifest, they stumble upon these common mistakes, which is that they are continuously looking outside of them to validate their worthiness, to validate that they are sufficiently healed, that they are really worthy of receiving that reality, which has been planted and seeded from these polarizing experiences. So to give an example of a polarizing experience, I have witnessed my own life fluctuate quite a bit. I had moments where I manifested dream apartments without any resistance, having very long periods of no worry about rent at all. And that feeling of like, oh, rent is paid. Everything is glorious and amazing. To then suddenly see my life go completely the other way. You know, I live day by day worrying and focusing on the lack, the absence of money, the absence of love, the absence of recognition. And guess what I got? I perpetuated that. And that continues a cycle filled with it. And another one is that we doubt the process. We focus obsessively only on the results. We live fully in our imagination, not relying much on the beautiful fullness of this present moment, which catapults us to the life that we really want, to the version that has it. Our version, which has the things that we have, they have different beliefs. They have different abilities and skills. They have different thinking patterns. They feel differently. They live already in that desired result which is the law of assumption taught by Neville Goddard, which is one of the only techniques that I truly stand by that has worked well in my own life. It can be hard at times to be consistent with the feeling that we want to continually experience and then have permanently as our reality. But it requires patience. We learn that it is not a linear thing. The reason we then become so annoyed the patience just kind of fades away and we become more obsessed and frustrated. Why? Why isn't that we live in this desired reality? How is it that others do? For then we continue to perpetuate the same cycle again. What do we need to do then? We need to go within. We need to look at why we are still unconsciously manifesting this reality that seems to appear over and over again. For as we bring it to the light of God, the light of infinite awareness, attention and consciousness, it then transmutes. Not only the emotion transmutes, but when we truly surrender and we trust and have faith more into the process. This is not just a one single little thing. We need to understand the laws of our reality and we need to know and abide the knowing that we are children of God. Suppose God had a house, you know, and God separated into two beings. And um, one being was this crazy Greek mythological Lord and God and, you know, like Zeus, for example, just to give you an idea. And Zeus, his wife, Kilop Cleopatra, just right next to him. And they live in this house here on earth and um, you are the child. And you come to them and, you know, what kind of house would they be living, living in? You know, like what I think most of us who have, you know, lived on this earth planet, we've experienced the polarity of the things that we don't really want. A lack mindset, poverty, not being able to pay the rent, not having a love of your life besides you, not being married yet, not having a fulfilling relationship, 
not having great passionate sex or companionship and deep intellectual bonding, feeling rejected, feeling shameful, guilty, envious of others. What do all these hold? The keys to the polarity. I question myself, do we need to all the way hit the bottom of what the polarity looks like to then finally reach the other side? No, we do not. So this is why we are here to learn about polarity. And we learn to see within these different scopes, we cultivate our relationships to each one of these aspects of our reality and our life. And we become more wise. For as he or she who's committed to the path of life knows that it's only lessons. Why do we learn lessons? Because we know that there's a version of us with a desired outcome. We know it. It's a higher version of ourselves. So we're in this house, we're the, we're, we are the, the son or the daughter of Cleopatra and Zeus. And we come with all these limiting beliefs and we vent it all out to them. We say, and they're drinking their wine in this beautiful mansion with gold and pillars and all these amazing things. So why can't I have it? Why don't I have this and that? I, uh, when is it coming? Why don't I have it? I feel so poor. I feel so this. I feel so... I feel like I need to always force things and put in so much work. Why, why, why? And Cleopatra will probably look at you like, child. You got it. You got it. Because you got it. And yes, I know it's frustrating. Because our ego wants to manifest and wants these manifestations right now. Because it's in lack. I'm telling you. Why are there teachings of remain present? Why do we learn about awareness and being present? I'm telling you. When you learn to be okay with what is including the suffering, including the pain, the negative emotions that come from the realities that we continuously seem to experience and do not want. When we see through it, we then surrender to the knowing it's done, it's seated. And all we have to do is just remain here present, enjoy this present moment. Slow down. We're in the age of Aquarius, guys. So much more mental energy. This is the air sign. There will be much more distractions. You know, there will be much more thinking. Now more than ever, I'm promising you, when you allow yourself to be present, something just lifts off of you. You begin to trust more. And you begin to enjoy more what it is that you're doing. You get more done. There's this mystery unfolding. This mystery in the house of Cleopatra and Zeus, you know. This mystery of, oh, what if there is like even more greater things that want to come? Your feeling, your sense of feeling increases, you know. Your worthiness of desires. You desire greater things to come. Because it's inevitable. And they will then come. Because you are in the feeling already. You are enjoying the process. It's becoming more and more fun. You get your spark back. That spark that you felt. The euphoria when you were a child. It was open to infinite possibilities. And not within the restrictive patterns not within the comfort zones. You see, manifestation is the unfoldment of what God is projecting in front of you. Now, where do you want to focus on the projection? You focus on what you got right now. You play with it. But then when we live in a moment, when we do not deny our feelings, when we stop suppressing, when we bring light to it, 
we remain in acceptance and faith and knowing. We cultivate more and more faith. That's whatever, that, that is what will ever be left in this reality faith. For as faith is it, knowing, <laughs> because you're the creator. Unconscious or conscious, it will always continue. But can you remain here? Can you accept the laws that govern our reality right now? No matter how frustrating it is. I know you have a knowing within you that there's a six dimensional or eight dimensional density version of you that inf instantly manifests and it has it right in front of you. But what if the joy is not that in this reality, that this reality has been created for other purposes? To enjoy this exact moment where things are happening in the speed that it is. Have discernment, even in synchronicities. For as the feeling is what it is about. You know, it's, life is deceiving. It is not always what we think it is. And reality is this gigantic sham trying to show us who we really are all the freaking time. As we are just dancing with our desires, we're dancing with our thoughts, we're dancing with overthinking, we're dancing with unconscious beliefs all the freaking time. See through the illusion of all of that and try to enjoy this present moment. And I know, I know it sounds so simple. And the mind is like, how can it be so simple? I've been overthinking and thinking and thinking. But I'm going to tell you. Now, we can't stop thinking. I'm not going to tell you that thinking is the problem. I'm telling you. Our bodily response to certain emotions, our false indoctrinations, our trauma, these things that seem to prevail and make us continue to perpetuate realities that we don't want is where it lies. So we need to go within again. We need to do the healing work, but we also need to respond. We also need to take action upon the thoughts and feelings, the new inspiration that comes for when we bring the light to these aspects, we shift into lighter versions of ourselves. Because it's there, the polarity is there. It's just, we need to acknowledge. We get the acknowledgement, boom, we do it. Why not? And just enjoy doing. Become that valuable self within you. For as you are, for as you are infinitely, it is here inside. Everything else, it centers from you. You are the center of all that you experience. And I know you see that in your day-to-day -day life. For us, it's a fundamental truth to the laws that govern our reality right now. That which we feel, that which we believe, that which we continually think about, frequency, frequently think about, for that which we continue to say, we spell, we cast spells, spelling of the certain words. Every single letter, every single word, every single sound, they all vibrations. Now which vibration, which aspect of the entirety of the ocean, which aspect of the entirety of who you truly are do you choose? So do you choose the lack or not? Do you see the state of consciousness? Do you feel it? Do you feel that you have the ability to choose? You need to know how to zoom out. You need to be able to see yourself clearly. It is better to take more time, gain clarity. Where do you really want to head? Because apparently you don't want the lack. You want a beautiful house and live in a desired outcome and a wish fulfillment, of course. But it's a decision away, I'm telling you. Tomorrow, you can have it. A greater version of it. Trust, you have it. You can feel it now. 
You can shift the thinking now. Go into the depths of the negative thinking. Let go. Transform from within. For as you have. You are the child of God. For as God is looking at you and it's like, all right, you got it. You got it. Por que no? Si tú quieres, tienes. If you want it, you got it. Now that's what I know to be true of manifestation. We've been all been doing this ever since we were young, guys. We're actually doing it all the time because manifestation, like I said, it is the continuous manifestation of what you're thinking and believing and thinking and choosing. Continuously. It doesn't stop. Your life is your manifestation. Let me know in the comments what it is that is seemingly not going according to what you want. Let me know the obstacles that you're currently facing. Think about it, write it down in a way that you know is just the biggest issue for as why it's not coming. You'd be surprised what will come out. Let me know in the comments, let me know if you enjoyed this video. I thank you for being here. You know, I wrote down just what I you know, know to be very true right now in this moment and also what I've been gathering in my past few years of consciously manifesting. You know, we're both here watching this video, we co-created this. We're both committed to the process. Why not make the best of it? <laughs> you deserve it all. For one-on-one -on -one coaching, emails found below. For my free resources and community, visit my Ko-Fi page. For my ebook, The Power of Imagination, which goes in depth about the power of all of these topics that I've just spoken about, but also about the past lives, the importance of understanding our past lives, the different dimensions, the structure of our universe, other dimensional beings and their help, various aspects of the universe like the archangels that are continuously helping us twin flames union occult teachings ancient civilizations it's all in this book packed with an insanely amount of value that can shift your life and inspire you to take actions beyond what you ever thought you were capable of it's on the discount right now you can check it on my ko-fi page make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in the next video guys I love you, take care, I see you. I know life at times can, is and can be very difficult. But let's rely on one another and let's just get there. No we're playing small, let's get out of our own way, show the world what we're capable of. We got it. Alright, ciao.